Hey, what is up? Dalton and Clown here. Today we're going over more CompTIA resource material. Uh, this particular CompTIA exam is going to be the CompTIA Server Plus SK0 TAC004. So if you are someone who is going the infrastructure route and you want to get your Server Plus certification for an entry level uh, server or associate level server based uh, certification, this is the certification for you. So before we get into today's video, uh, as you may see, I have on my ACloud Guru shirt. This is not one of the vendors that we're going over today. Uh, however, uh, they do have a lot of other certifications that we go through uh, and review, uh, or certification preps and uh, courses that we review. Uh, they are an amazing platform. I do recommend them. Uh, they're one of the frequent flyers we have here. Uh, also, IT Pro TV, uh, as well as Plural Site, Udemy, and a couple others. Uh, I just and CBT Nuggets. I just don't have a uh, swag for a lot of those other vendors, like I do A Cloud Guru. Uh, they are a very engaging community. I'll leave a link for them in the description below. Um, but before we begin, if you could please go ahead, hit that notification bell, uh, and that hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Uh, and uh, just so you could get any future videos that we may release in regards to product reviews, uh, certification uh, guides and resources, as well as any career resources to help you get into the job that you want. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. All right, so uh, despite all the other uh, more affordable vendors that I just previously mentioned, we're going over one that's not so much. So this is on ucertify.com. So uh, ucertify, uh, a lot of different uh, entities utilize them. I know, uh, for example, the uh, college that I'm currently enrolled in uh, uh, at WGU, they're utilizing uh, ucertify. So they are reputable. Uh, they're very well known in the education space. Um, most of the content we're gonna go over is gonna try to save you money. Uh, this is a one-time fee, but it's also a one-time fee of $280, uh, which at that point, if you're paying that much for education, I would actually sometimes just recommend going to the vendor. I will say you do get a decent amount of resources with this uh what they offer for you uh for the certification it's over 13 lessons or 241 exercises over 96 quizzes over 539 e flashcards so virtual flashcards you can utilize and print out and over 464 glossary terms uh the test prep is going to be over uh 40 questions for the pre-assessment uh two full-length tests over 100 questions for the post-assessment over 200 questions for the actual practice questions, and then over 33 labs you could utilize. So they they do help, uh, and, and the reason I bring this up is, is this is actually one of the resources I have seen some people utilize uh, from the CompTIA uh, subreddit. Uh, this is one that a couple of people have recommended. Uh, so I thought I'd bring it up. I will say, uh, from all the resources they have here, uh, it looks like it's gonna be almost impossible for you to fail. I've not actually gotten this. Uh, just because of that price point, I don't think it's justifiable, but uh, everyone has their own price target on what's gonna be their next step. Now, this is gonna help you get an extra five, 10, 15K for your next transition, for your next position, and you know they're hiring for this particular certification. That's, that's an amazing price point to get into that field and get into that role. But if not, then, you know, maybe let's wait for the other resources we're going to go over in today's video. Uh, next up, it's going to be a Udemy course. This is by Alexander G. Um, so this was another recommended course. This is last updated 2020, 2021. Um, Specifically, in 2020, it was last updated uh, June. Uh, yes, I had to count. Uh, anyway, uh, so 
this is actually one I've seen a couple people uh, utilize. Uh, so this is just uh, practice questions. Uh, so this is actually just, you know, practice exams. But you do get over a couple hundred questions with this. So uh, you could pair this with a couple of the different resources that we're going to utilize in this exam, or you get something all together like this, where you get everything, the lessons, uh, the practice exams, and the labs and everything put together. But for $12.99, uh, what is this? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, almost 600 questions. Uh, it's a great option. Okay, so next up is going to be our friends over at IT Pro TV. I mentioned them before. Uh, this is an amazing uh, certification course here. Um, so I, I did, uh, I, I have a subscription for IT Pro TV as well as Acon Guru. I do. I did go over this. Uh, I think they do an amazing job here with this uh, training certification. With this, you do have virtual labs, you have practice tests, and then you have over 28 hours of content you could utilize uh, to study for this exam. They go over all the different domains for this exam. It's as up to date as it can be at least a, in, in correlation to the uh, CompTIA website. Uh, and I, I have seen a lot of people uh, vouch for this themselves going through the course completely. Uh, as I said, I, I do have a subscription. I only went through the first uh, couple sections for this, but so far it looked like it was an amazing exam. They do a great job going over this. Uh, and again, pricing. So remember what we had before, $12, $13 here, $280. So let's say you know you're going to have a couple, you, you, it'll usually take you two, three months to go through an exam because of how busy your life is. You know, if you're single, uh, no kids, it may take you a lot less. <laughs> uh, uh, just put the game down, put the controller down for a little bit and, and study. <laughs> um, so for this particular exam, uh, or for this uh, resource for IT Pro TV, it's either going to cost you thirty dollars a month for no practice exams and no practice tests, which is fine, or fifty dollars a month for the practice tests, for the virtual labs, and for a learning coach. So that's going to be great. Uh, if you're transitioning into a new role with this particular certification, uh, you'll have someone who could kind of guide you and get and help tell you what you need to know to get into that role. So, but even with that $50 price point, and if you thought their practice tests weren't enough and you went back and got this, you're still paying a fraction of what you pay through for CompTIA's uh, vendor resources they offer or something like you certify. Uh, and I just have to say they have the best trained instructors I've ever seen and not just because they're from the same area that I am. <laughs> uh, they, they do an amazing job at IT Pro TV going above and beyond. They've been doing it for years. Some of their instructors have been doing this uh, and teaching IT for over 10, 15, 20 years. They do an amazing job at what they do. And I cannot think of anyone better to teach you traditional IT than the people over at IT Pro TV. But we'll try, which is, brings us to the uh, next vendor website. So Pluralsight, we have reviewed them in the past. Uh, an issue I have with this particular resource, there's a couple different authors. I did go over the first video by John. Um, because I have, I, I have a, through my work, I actually have a subscription through Pluralsight. Um, and I think John did a great job. Now, my only issue with some certification pathways on Pluralsight is you have a couple different instructors teaching different subjects, which is the case with this. Because I, as I said, I went over John's video, but they also have Mike teaching, Jason teaching. Uh, so it's a couple different people all giving their own perspective on different subject matters. 
which could be good because they could be experts in those subjects, or it could be bad because maybe they have overlapping information that doesn't correlate and doesn't give the uh, listener or the student the best uh, information because there's uh, intertwined information that overlaps from the different instructors. But that's just my opinion. Uh, I have seen a couple of people utilize the resources here at Pluralsight. If anyone out there can give me a perspective uh, on what you think of Pluralsight and the different instructors teaching here, I would love to hear it. But Pluralsight is amazing because uh, if this is your first CompTIA exam, which if you're going for the server plus, it's probably not. <laughs> um, but if it is, uh, you do get a 10% off discount voucher when you sign up and use the code PLURAL10. Uh, you will get a 10% discount on your uh, CompTIA exam. Now, it doesn't say your first exam. I, I'm almost positive it's for the first exam, but it may not be. It may just be you could use PLURAL10, period. But regardless, uh, this particular course, uh, there is going to be uh, some labs you could follow through with them. It's not really a traditional lab like in a lot of uh, vendor websites, but you could follow through and do the lab with them. Uh, there are tests at the end of the different sections you could uh, utilize to test your knowledge. And then you also have uh, six, seven, 12, 13, uh, over 17 hours worth of content here of uh, study courses. So again, uh, in general, Pluralsight does have a lot of great resources. I don't know if this particular exam is going to be one of them, but that's why I, uh, cause, and I only went over John's and John did a great job, but I'd like to hear some feedback from you, uh, just what you think of Pluralsight. Make sure that uh, the boys and girls over at the CompTIA subreddit uh, are uh, giving me good information <laughs> all the time. Uh, okay, so last, uh, you know that I always say the more different types of resource material we have, the better. So that's the case here. I'm also going to tell you, go get this book. Uh, um, you don't need it, but you need it. Uh, if, if you're really trying to study, uh, I always suggest have different types of formats of information to study from. Uh, I do have a couple all-in-one books uh, for that particular uh, publication. Uh, they're not the best because they're a little bit more dry. I do like individual publishers and authors because they're, they have a little bit more uh, free reign on what they're allowed to post. And generally they can keep it more engaging. Um, but nonetheless, they do uh, an amazing job giving you the information you need to pass and giving you a lot of resources. And this particular book is by Daniel uh, Lachance. Uh, you get the hardcover for uh, $36 new, $29 used, or you could get the Kindle version for $34.22. In this exam, you're going to get over, or in this uh, course uh, for this practice exam guide, you're going to get over 350 practice questions and answers and explanations for those answers. That's key because sometimes you'll go and you'll get practice questions and answers and you may not have uh, good explanations. So if they, when they offer that, that's always a plus that you don't, what you wouldn't normally think about. Um, serves both as a study guide on the, on the job resource. So you could use this even after you get the certification and you get a role uh, that utilizes the server plus uh, uh, resources that you need. Um, unfortunately, this doesn't have a lot of other content. I, I know there's uh, been exam guide books in the past that I've gone over that they offer, you know, not only Q&A, but they also offer uh, 
practice labs and virtual labs you could utilize. They offer virtual flashcards. They offer a bunch of different resources. All in one, it's generally going to be really plain, which it is here. You get your practice Q&As and explanations, and then you get the book itself, and that's it. <laughs> you're, you, that, that's, that's what you get. Uh, but you're still going to get another way of ingesting that format, which is what I recommend you do. So I really appreciate you sticking out. And if you can go ahead, uh, tell me what resources you use to take the, this exam. Tell me if you have a bunch of these. Maybe you also have Pluralsight or a couple other things that you get free. Maybe you have some subscriptions yourself. Tell me what you found was the most helpful resource when taking this exam. Uh, and then for more content, as I said, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can get more uh, study resource material in the in the future videos that we release. Or you could go ahead and go to our website. You could go and you could check out the different uh, resources that we have here. Um, and then you could also sign up for our email list. And then you could get notifications of different articles that we have. Sometimes you'll see articles on here that you won't actually see uh, on uh, on YouTube. So you may get some, uh, eventually they'll all be uh, related, but sometimes uh, the blog will get stuff before YouTube and the Facebook page will get stuff before any of them. And maybe Facebook will get some exclusive stuff. So it just depends on what platform you're going on. But uh, just to make sure you get the most up to date information, uh, be sure to go ahead and check me out here. And then I'll be sure to give all updates through that email list. Without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.